If you're like me and work with many electronics parts in your projects, this handy little component tester might be just right for you. I found this little tester on icstation.com and decided to give it a try. It brags it can test a variety of components and feedback the values and information on them via the LCD display. The tester came pre-assembled on a quality PCB and only lacks a case which I can easily remedy with my 3D printer. I was slightly surprised to find that the main microcontroller on board is actually an Atmel Mega 328P 8-bit AVR. This is the same microcontroller used on many Arduino boards. A quick search online and I was able to find the schematic for the board as well as the full Arduino code. This is actually a great feature as now if we find any issues with the display or code we could repair them ourselves. Very cool. The tester just takes a 9 volt battery and you're ready to test components. Testing a capacitor, the meter had no issues providing me the polarity, equivalent series resistance, the voltage loss, and the value in nanofarads in a nice graphical format. An LED test gave me the polarity, forward voltage, and capacitance. Testing a resistor had no issues giving me the value in kiloohms, which was verified with my fluke is quite accurate. Testing a salvaged unknown transistor popped up with an NPN transistor, the positions of the collector base and emitter, the HFE or gain, and the forward voltage value. A diode had no issues showing the polarity, forward voltage, and capacitance. Flipping the diode around had no effect on the values as expected, but did graphically display the polarity reversal. Testing an N-channel MOSFET I got in my latest Adafruit order popped right up as an N-channel enhancement mode MOSFET with the gate, drain, and source clearly identified along with the capacitance and threshold voltage as well. Overall, this little tester won't replace my Fluke or ESR meter anytime soon, but there's no question it has secured a place on my bench. For things like checking the polarity of a diode, it can do so in one step instead of two. Remember to click that subscribe button for new videos every week. Good luck in all your projects.